My name is Holger Grill. I uh, uh, have actually a double affiliation. So I'm from the Eindhoven University of Technology and uh, furthermore I'm also working for Philips Research. And today I would like to talk about our preclinical studies that we lately published. Uh, it's a proof of concept study. And uh, that study was uh, performed in uh, European project Sono drugs. We uh, worked a lot on temperature mediated drug delivery using high focused ultrasound to mediate the temperature rays in the tissue an MR image uh, guidance, for example. So far we showed that uh, this new method allows us to bring higher amount of uh, drugs into the tumor and that we can uh, use an, uh, a diagnostic imaging tool basically to correlate it. Now the next thing that needs to be done is also to show that this uh, higher amount of uh, dr drug that we get into the tumor uh, is correlated with a better therapeutic outcome so that uh, the therapy, so the high amount of drug also add something to survival rates. And this is one of the important therapeutic studies that has to now be performed and uh, in fact it's, it's running as we speak. And uh, I hope that within the next year we will have uh, the data to, to show that this technique also adds something to the survival rate. I think the uh, approach of temperature induced drug delivery is very promising for many patients that adds a treatment option for patients that may have not eligible, for example, for other therapeutic interventions. I would say early stage patients. However, if you look closely for many different diseases, for example, pancreatic cancer or also liver cancer, uh, if you do patient stratification, you have enough patients that still have a local uh, disease, so a localized tumor, but however, uh, those tumors cannot be treated in, in any other way. I would like to be cautious about the translational value of this, uh, our approach. Uh, we are dealing with a uh, gadolinium enclosed liposomal formulation uh, that contains gadolinium and toxorubicin. Um, so before we talk any, uh, about any clinical translation, we have to first make sure about toxicity and uh, toxicity profiles. Uh, you know that you know, we are very well aware, of, for example, the NSF problems that gadolinium can introduce. So many things have to be sorted out before we can move with this concept uh, further towards human use, for example.